video and in this video we will guide you through and show you our professional video plugin for bubble we will show you how to set it up and what kind of um, features and actions are included so we built this plugin because we were actually building um, a video based site ourselves and existing video plugins in the bubble app store just weren't um, just weren't giving us what we needed in terms of actions in terms of um, things we can manipulate the parameters so what we basically did we incorporated the whole javascript sdk from zigio and we've included as much parameters uh, almost all parameters that were possible as well as events actions and states but we're going to guide you through all of this so maybe just a short introduction zigio is an online video hosting uh, recording and playing platform which basically allows you uh, to create all kinds of video applications it takes care of the hosting it takes care of uploading applying uh, effects and uh, transcribing videos uh, apply uh, cropping videos and so on and so forth so if you watch this tutorial i assume you know what zigio is and you um you um, have an account there and you want to implement zigio into your bubble application and what we're going to show you now is how to do that using our plugin so um, this will look something similar for you so we have the professional zigio plugin here and this is the part where you can enter all the information that is required and if you scroll down you can see all the different um, events and actions and elements that are included with this plugin but just uh, let's just start off here so um, as typical in bubble we have five fields but they are duplicated because there's a version for a development version of your application and a live version we're going to just work with the development version you it's probably advised to use the same settings uh, maybe for debug mode you would like to use true for the development and false for the live version but again that's up to you so for application token you will find that in zigio uh, in your zigio dashboard that's nothing um it's on api key so it's not really um secret or something like that you can just enter that here um and this will is very important we have the web rtc streaming so that you can set this to true or false so this basically says all right should web rtc streaming be enabled okay what is web rtc streaming it's basically um technology where um video is recorded basically in the browser um, you can read about it in the Zigio documentation or just test it out. I would recommend to put that on true. Same applies for WebRTC on mobile. That's a bit more, um, I would say, in the beta phase. It's, it works fine, but not as nice on desktop. But again, um, you can enable that. So just to explain what would happen if this is true, um, a user would record or could record um, a video and the camera uh, basically pop up won't open on an iPhone for example the actual recording will still take place in the browser but again the best thing would be to test that out if you want to enable some Google Analytics events um, you can press true um, and the video will send you over some data to Google Analytics uh, obviously you will need Google Analytics um, in, installed on the page as well and the debug mode you can enable that for testing purposes because uh, Zigio will print things in the console and will let you know if there's issues so um, just enable that if you if you're still testing um, but definitely leave it on false if you are um, if you're um, actually having the live application so I'm gonna, gonna just paste my application token here and I'm gonna head back to my design tab so um, the Zigio plugin and Zigio in general consists of two main elements we have the Zigio player and the Zigio recorder um, I think quite straightforward uh, the terms I mean the Zigio player allows you to play back videos um, that, that are already stored in your Zigio account okay and we're going to start off by looking at the Zigio player so you can just search for Zigio player and it's this one here you can select that drag that onto the page we already have two Zigio players here you can uh, resize them accordingly position them where you want and this is where our videos will be shown if we double click on that you can now see there's quite a lot of different parameters that we can set here okay and we're going to go through all of them so let's start off with the top the video parameter will define what video is displayed and you always get a video token from zigio um, which defines the key for the video and this is a specific video i uploaded before this video so this is the video that we're going to show the width and the height you have to set manually here and then what is of course advised to do is you want to set the width and the height equal to whatever the actual width and height of this bubble element is okay um, 
It will still work if you have this a bit bigger, um, but I would generally advise you to do that. Um, you can choose this theme. Uh, Zigio offers a few different themes of how of how um, the player looks. You can just try it out and look also the theme color. There are three theme colors available. Then we have all these different parameters and these parameters basically define how the player works, how it interacts with the browser, um, what it allows or it doesn't allow um, to apply effect profiles, meta profiles, video profiles, and so on and so forth. Um, I won't go through any, any every of these uh, parameters now. You can just always click on show documentation and it will allow, show you what this parameter um, means. Okay, so for example, if we go on um, stretch, it says allow the player to stretch. If we go on um, stream, you can specify the exact stream to run on your player. So again, you will have to look into Zigio a bit. Um, disable pause, this will mean disable pausing in the player and so on. All you have to do is check this and this will then be applied to this specific um, player. All right, so let's now um, actually go ahead and just preview this first part. So I have a video set here and I have another video here and I did something a bit different. So here's the theme theater, here's the theme minimalist, different uh, theme color, and let's just go ahead and preview that. All right, so as you can see, we have these two videos here and you can always see we have this alert showing which says video load. I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. Let me just click play here on one of those videos and we see the alert video playing. If I pause it, it says video pause. So how do we do that? We do that by using events. So coupled to this Zigio player, we have access to a few events by going to workflow and then looking under elements, we have these events, a Zigio, and now we wanna look for player, a Zigio player ended, a Zigio player loaded, it paused, it's playing and it has been seeked. Okay, so you have access to all these events and then if one of these events happens, so for example, when a Zigio player is paused, in this case, I'm showing an alert, video paused. And so you can do whatever you want, you have access to all these different events. The second thing you have access to is actions and actions allow you to interact with the Zigio player directly from your bubble application. So for example, if we go back here to our application, I can so I can use these actions here now. So for example, if I click on play, this video starts playing. I can also click on seek to 10 seconds, which will jump to the 10 seconds. And I can also destroy the whole embedding. So how does that work? I just place some buttons here, okay? And then we, if we click start at a workflow, we have access to, if we go here to element actions, we go to Zigio player, we have access to all these different action so we can toggle the settings we can get the current position of the player we can pause play play it we can set a new key toggle full screen and so on and so forth so let's actually try this let's change the pause button to full screen click on start at a workflow and what we're going to do under element action we're going to say all right if this is press for the Zigio player we want to toggle the full screen of Zigio player a all right um, let's click on preview. So now I'm gonna click on play here now again to play the video. I'm gonna click full screen. And as you can see, the whole video goes to full screen. You don't see it right now because my recording here is limited, but it works perfectly fine. So you can really trigger and control things in the player from your bubble application, okay? I could mute the video, this is without sound anyways. I can, again, seek to 10 seconds. I could seek to 20 seconds. You can define that here if you go back um, here to seek two, we can change that. So for example, seek two seconds, five or something like this, all right? So you have access to all of these different things and you also have access to some states, uh, not a lot. So if we take a look at that, we can look for Zigio. So for example, Zigio, Zigio player A's current position. So you can find out, all right, what's the current position of the video? So if we go, for example, and change the destroy button here to find position, Okay, when this is pressed, we want to find what seconds this, this user is currently watching the video. So we're going to click on the action here and say, all right, we want to um, get the current position of a Zigio player. Let's just preview this whole thing now. Zigio player A, click on preview and let's just wait until it's loaded. All right, so let's try that. So let's start playing. And we're at second, let's say three now. Okay, so I'm going to click on find position. 3.9, find position, 5.8, find position. So we're always getting the up-to-date information of where the current user is watching, okay? Um, might be interesting if you have a video and after a certain amount of time, you wanna show a pop-up or whatever. So again, you have lots of control and that's what we wanted to do with this plugin. 
you see again um, event trigger so all the time if i start the video an event is uh, triggered i stop the video and so on and so forth and i didn't didn't even connect all the um all the um, events to this player okay so that wraps it up regarding the player we didn't look at everything but um, again um, just try out all these things um, look at the actions look at the events there's a lot um, you can play with and use all right let's head over to the recorder um, quite similar we have this recorder element here all right you can just drag that onto your page very similar to the player you can define the width here and then we again have all these parameters which we're not going to th go through but you can see there's a lot of things that you can define again there was a goal with this plugin giving you almost all the uh, um, control you want um, and yeah so you can define all the things regarding the um, up uh, the recording you could say okay all right i want the user to allow his um, allow screen recording i want to allow recording i want to allow um, direct uploads from files i want to give a file size limit i want to force the flash to be opened on on um, on phones and so on and so forth okay okay so a user can then upload your videos all right quite straightforward do screen recordings upload videos directly or upload them via webcam or via the phone and same as before you have access to events actions and states so let's start off with the events so what kind of events do you have access to for example important one when Zigio recorder a has been uploaded okay so when a video has been uploaded an event is triggered you, there's two things in Zigio when uploading a video has to be uploaded and has to be processed if it's uploaded you can already get the token the video token however it's not yet ready for playing uh, it has to be processed first and depend that depends on the length of the video okay we also have access to um, when the Zigio recorder is recording so when this, the recording starts we have access to when the video is processed um, when also very important when access is forbidden so when a, on a mobile phone um, the user doesn't give a camera access to the Zigio recorder that's an important uh, event you want to use in this case also when no camera or no microphone is found on a device you want to maybe show a pop-up show an alert uh, informing the user so again a lot of different things you have access to different events and you can then trigger subsequent workflows and also let's take a look at the actions you have access to so again i have a button here um let's just click on start at a workflow i'm just going to delete this and so now if we go to element actions under zigio recorder we can pause a recording cancel we can just destroy the recorder resume a recorder again toggle full screen um, trigger a re-record or record or start recording so again different things you have access to which you can play around with and then obviously quite important um the actual uh, basically the actual token that is uploaded which you maybe then want to save in your database so um, you have to access to this by accessing the state so for example here I can say all right I want to access Zigio recorder ace token which is the video token that is uploaded and saved in your Zigio database so what I did here it says empty and then conditional when Zigio recorders a token is not empty I want to I wanted to say um, upload successful something like that okay okay what you could also do you could say all right when a Zigio recorder a is uploaded i want to i don't know make changes to a thing i want to make change to my current video and i want to change the token to Zigio recorder um recorders token okay um let's just take a look at that also so let's preview that and see how that looks I did some changes here now, I think, in design, so this will look different. Let's just wait until it's loaded. All right, let's scroll down. Um, okay, I didn't make any actual any changes, but we have three options, record video, record screen, and upload video. I won't show these two options now, but they work perfectly fine. You could directly record the video now via the webcam. You could record the screen here, which is what I'm doing right now with a different program. And you can just upload a video from your files. And this is what I'm gonna do just to show you. I'm gonna click upload video. So I've chosen a file, it's now uploading. Um, let's wait until it's done. You can see 100% now and it says empty. And let's wait, upload successful. We have the event triggered, we have the state changed 
and we directly have the token of the video. So everything works perfectly. The video is now uploaded. Maybe it's not processed yet. We could check that as well, but we already have the token. The event was triggered and you could do things in a database now or whatever you want. And the user can rewatch the video immediately. Again, we have the video playing event triggered and so on. So yeah, um, quite straightforward, I believe, but um, I would su suggest you to just, again, take a deep dive into all the parameters, play around with the events, the actions, the states you have access to. And if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us anytime. Um, if you if there's any parameters missing, also just reach out to us. Again, our goal of this plugin should be that it's the, the first and last Zigio plugin that you buy um, and um, the one that you really wanna use. And also another important thing to note is we're using the stable build for this plugin. So there's always different Zigio versions, um, but if you wanna use a newer build, again, just reach out to us. We'll help you there, we'll set that up for you. Um, or push an update just for you so you can use a newer or even older build if that's what you want to do. So yeah, that's basically it regarding this video. Um, good luck building your video application using our plugin. And again, um, reach out to us via email if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.